A person's definition of war often expresses the person's broader political philosophy, such as limiting war to a conflict of individuals with power or armed conflicts between different countries. In the most raw form, it's a conflict between political groups of considerable duration and magnitude. Since World War II, we've had no significant war of mighty proportions. That's so we had the unpopular Russian-Ukraine war that disturbed all the world powers. But how exactly did this war come about? Welcome to Timeless History. In this video we will share how the Ukrainian war started. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel to see more videos about disturbing history facts. For a long time Russia and Ukraine, a country that used to be part of the Soviet Union, had problems. But in early 2021, things got worse. Ukraine's leader Volodymyr Zelensky asked the US President Joe Biden if Ukraine could join NATO. This angered Russia, which started sending troops near its Ukraine border. The United States and its friends began worrying about Russian soldiers near Ukraine. They tried talking to Russian President Vladimir Putin to make his troops go back, but it didn't work. Pictures later revealed that there were soldiers in Opok and Yepatoria Railyard, which Russia took from Ukraine in 2014. They also had tanks and armored vehicles near Lake Donislav and Navuzernoy. Russia also sent its soldiers to Belarus for military practice, which made Ukraine feel surrounded on three sides. The West thought they might be getting ready for an attack. Putin's speech, in which he called Ukraine the crown jewel of Russia, further raised the alarm that they wanted to annex the country. Russia, however, denied any plans to attack Ukraine. They proposed to only want the guarantee that Ukraine will not join NATO and that the Western alliance should remove forces from Eastern Europe. Unfortunately for Russia, the West didn't accept this proposal. This isn't the first time Russia and Ukraine have had big problems. In 2014, Russia sent its soldiers to Ukraine because some rebels, supported by President Putin, took control of a big part of eastern Ukraine. They've been fighting Ukraine's army since then. During that time, Russia took over Crimea. It's important to remember that Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union, so it has strong connections with Russia regarding culture and language. But since Russia invaded in 2014, those relationships have gotten worse. The tension between Russia and Ukraine affects the European Union. That's why the EU, which includes many NATO countries, joined the US in imposing sanctions on Russian groups. The President of France, Emmanuel Macron, even went to Moscow to talk to President Putin and try to make things calmer. India also asked for a peaceful solution to the problem between Russia and Ukraine. None of this, however, had any effect on Putin's decision. In February 2022, Russia finally revealed its true intention by attacking Ukraine. Many people on both sides have died, and Russian soldiers have hurt a lot of Ukrainian civilians and soldiers they captured. By June 2022, about 8 million Ukrainians had to leave their homes inside the country. By May 2023, over 8.2 million had left Ukraine, making it the biggest refugee crisis in Europe since World War II. The environment got damaged, causing problems with food around the world. When Russia invaded, many countries got mad. The United Nations said it was bad and told Russia to leave Ukraine. The International Court of Justice told Russia to stop fighting, and the Council of Europe kicked Russia out. Lots of countries put penalties on Russia and its ally Belarus. They also gave help to Ukraine with food and weapons. People all over the world protested against the war. In Russia, they arrested many people who didn't like the war and stopped them from saying what they wanted. More than 1,000 companies left Russia and Belarus because of the invasion. The International Criminal Court opened an investigation into possible crimes against humanity, war crimes, abduction of children, and genocide, issuing an arrest warrant for Putin in March 2023. Russia's violent and unexpected war, apart from taking some land near Crimea, has been bad for Russia and the country it attacked. It hasn't accomplished much except showing that the Russian military can be cruel and bad. In places like Mariupol, entire cities were destroyed, and we learned about terrible things happening to regular people in Bukha, near Kyiv. A report says Russia planned and encouraged very bad things, like trying to wipe out a whole group of people. Russia's warnings to the West against arming Ukraine have gone unheeded, with Western continuous support. Do you know any other thing about the Ukrainian war? Let us know in the comment section. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more videos about the most disturbing historical facts.